What's up guys? Today I'm going to season in my brand new Lang. This is a 48. This is a patio deluxe on a wagon wheel from uh, Lang in Georgia. It's a reverse flow smoker and we are going to season this bad boy. First thing I'm going to do is get a fire going. Be right back. Okay, so the first thing I did, I actually took just a damp rag and I wiped out any particles or anything I found. There were a little bit of particles in the warmer box here. So I just cleaned that out. You don't want to get it too wet. Some guys actually hose it down before they do the seasoning. I, I would prefer just to, uh, to wipe it down, anything you see in there. You can even vacuum it out. So the first thing that we're going to do for seasoning is we're going to open everything up. So open all the pinwheels, open them all. This one doesn't matter so much right now, but open everything up, your stack, and then the pinwheel on the right and on the left of the firebox. And then you gotta get a fire started. I'll be right back. Propane torch, obviously, and we're using that to start the fire today. Uh, this was 35 bucks from Harbor Freight. It has a electric start, it's real nice. Just uses a regular propane tank, you can see there. So when you start these, you don't want much propane coming out. See how it started? Now you can fire it up, it's loud. That's how you start a fire real easy. <laughs> Leave it open a little bit, get a little oxygen in there. All right, so before this gets too hot, what we wanna do is wanna spray it with oil. Now you can use any kind of oil you want. Um, you can use peanut oil, canola oil. There's lots of different ways to do it. Ben Lang actually says to use PAM, and I, I found this, this PAM high heat formula. And it basically, if you look at the ingredients, it's just canola oil. So using canola oil, we're going to spray everything in here. So before, before it gets too hot, we want to go ahead and we want to spray this. So we're just going to start at one spot. Just going to give it a nice even spray. Pretty straightforward. Now this is stainless steel, so you could probably argue that you don't have to maybe spray these because not, they shouldn't rust, but stainless steel can still rust. It's not stain proof, it's stain less. So I'm gonna do it anyway, and I think it's just a good best practice. So we're gonna get all in here. Nice thing about this PAM spray is that you can get a nice even spray on it. When you use a bottle, like say you're using olive oil or if you're using peanut oil or something you can usually use a spray bottle it doesn't usually work quite as well as these aerosol cans make sure you get the top make sure you get the lid this is the back side get a nice even spray Cool with that real nice.
the inside of my warmer box. So this is gonna, it's gonna help. This is basically, think of a big cast iron pan, pan. If you ever use cast iron, every time you wash it, you usually put oil with a paper towel or something at the end. It's the same concept. It helps seal up that steel and that heat's just gonna kind of cook that in. Any porous area of the steel is gonna get oil in there and it's gonna protect that from rust and seal it up real good so that's that's plenty good in there close that back up close this bad boy back up all right we want to get some temperature going here Close this, just leave it a little bit open like that. We want to try to get this up to about 300 degrees. That's the temperature you're looking for uh, to try to seal some of that oil in. All right, guys, you can see we're getting real close to temp. Our target, we're trying to get to 300 degrees, maybe even a little hotter. The idea behind that is you want this oil, this canola oil that we sprayed, you want that to really kind of cook into the steel, help seal it up. You can see I've got the pinwheels opened all the way. We got the door open just a little bit. Trying to get some oxygen in there and get that fire going so we'll let it uh we'll let it get up to temperature then we're going to pop that lid open and we're just going to check and make sure that oil is getting nice and brown okay guys we are at temperature we're just over 300 degrees i'm going to let this bake for about an hour and then an hour we're going to open up the lid and we're going to take a look inside okay guys we actually got it up to 350 degrees for a while it's been a little over an hour we're going to pop this open take a look inside and just see what's going on here oh yeah it's looking really good you can see you got a nice brown kind of baked in seal on that oil that's exactly what you want i'm going to go ahead and spray a little bit more on here and i'm going to let it sit for another round basically get it back up to temp so same thing we did before i'm going to spray it again and get it back up to temperature all right guys so we let this basically cook up all the way to 350 again and now it's the temperature is dropping down a little bit but you can see the inside of this we basically seasoned it twice and it looks real good i mean that's what you want you want that kind of brown you can tell the you see that it's just like perfect kind of baked on there so that's what we're looking for you know some guys after this like to spray it down what i'm actually going to do next is i'm going to cook pork belly and I'm actually gonna kind of season it even more. So, you know, a lot of guys like to use bacon or pork belly to kind of do a season. I did the oil technique, then I'm gonna need pork belly. And then when I'm done with that, I'm gonna go ahead and wash it and steam it out and clean it. Um, but for now, I think this is good. You know, I cleaned it out, I cleaned it out earlier. I vacuumed and everything. And, um, you know, we got it real seasoned. We've been cooking now on it for about four or five hours. So. It's definitely baked in all the any kind of chemicals that were in there are kind of burned out if you're interested in the next video I'm going to do a pork belly and uh, we're actually going to smoke that for a while so hope you enjoyed this video please uh, check out the rest of the videos on the channel please subscribe if you haven't already have a great rest of your day take care